Christian Broadway. Hey everybody, welcome back to uh, Egg and Baby in the Morning. It's Egg and Baby in the Morning. The baby's here. Don't look at my streak, I don't give you my permission. Um, this is the first episode recorded after a, a long day of streaming yesterday. All those Isaac streamed episodes are coming to YouTube. They're going to be in a separate playlist. It'll be on the YouTube channel page, youtube.com slash Northern Lion. The playlist is titled The Streaming of Isaac. NNWR4MSL. They'll be coming out very rapidly. I don't say this as a promotional thing. I say it so that if you want to follow along, uh, you can. You know, they're, they're going to be there. Otherwise, it might be a little disjointed for you. I know, especially around launch, people want to see as much Isaac content as possible. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. I have no idea what the item Dirty Minds does. Um, and I don't really fully understand the character of Bethany either. Here, here's what I understand slash remember. Spacebar item, Book of Virtue. Book of Virtue allows you to create wisps. The wisps are orbitals. They do a little orbital damage. But also, um, they shoot. So you're kind of creating like a bunch of super familiars here. What you want to do is is keep your wisps alive as long as possible and build like a cool army. Uh, I think that can just send enemies down. And then the other cool thing, and there goes one of our wisps, unfortunately. Well, it, there's one other major quirk. You can't pick up spirit hearts. Spirit hearts and demon hearts merely allow you to charge your book faster. Uh, so that you can deploy, like, a bunch of, uh, wisps all at once, I suppose. I, I see what, uh, Dirty Mind does now as well. We shoot poops, we get little poop familiars. But also, and this is where I'm a little fuzzy for sure, but I believe that, like, almost, or maybe legitimately every single item, uh, that is also an active item, produces a unique wisp when you pick it up and have Book of Virtues at the same time. So you, it's almost like you have the backpack, you can hold two different items. I can't believe I lost one there. I really thought I was I was the greatest gamer of all time. Um, so I'm interested to see what kind of, you know, synergies we can get here going on with the Book of Virtues. I really don't know how to feel about Bethany as a character just yet. It's very early. Oh, you okay, baby? She's okay. You might hear some some baby sounds or even like a little digitized music going on in the background there. She's she's having a good day. But yeah, I, I think like the dream for uh, see, I'm a happy happy hippo. Let's play. Oh, here you go. I'm so sorry. On the piano, play a sweet song. Here's some beautiful music. You'll want to sing along. She's, she's mastered the art of, of activating this VTech infant keyboard. I apologize for my singing, by the way. We went, we went from heavy uh, analytical Isaac analysis, which I guess is a little bit of a redundant uh, statement, uh, all the way to flappy butterfly. She flaps her big strong wings. Up, up, up. It's time to fly away. Anyway, um, I'm interested to see how uh, Book of Virtues works with other items, because I think it's charge time is based on the charge time of the item that you have alongside it. We're going to do the alt path just because, like, you know, I'm... It, it, I guess I'm a glutton for punishment. The game's already, like, hard enough. <laughs> but let's take it to the next level, I suppose. Oh, baby, you got a front row seat. All right, we're on Dross 1. Dross Geller, the largest of the friends. Definitely create some wisps here. Uh, I had a great time streaming Repentance on the first day. I did not... I think I got a couple of wins. You can tell because I unlocked Bethany. I, I got a win with Lazarus. Um, but it was like... It was tough. Like, it was... It, this game is... Vi I didn't think... I didn't know what you did, to be honest. Um, this game is, is really difficult. So on the alt floors, you get a, a question mark in addition to an item. I'm going to go ahead and take that question mark on this. I think it's a cool choice, but I do also kind of uh, believe that, uh, you know, maybe the best way to get an advantage out of those rooms is to have, like, a black rune or, or void or something like that. 
I do like that you... Basically, it allows you to opt out of getting an item you know you're not gonna like that much. Although, I do need to pick up, like, all the new items... Or all the old items to see how they've been tweaked. Although, as I understand it from the patch notes, most items haven't been changed that, that much in, a, like, a truly transformative direction. Some of them have been altered a little bit, but... I don't know. But I had, I had a great time streaming Repentance. You know, I think there is a discussion to be had so far about, like... You know, is the game a little bit overtuned? Is is the difficulty a little on the high side? This is not complaining, by the way, because honestly, the harder it is to beat, the more <laughs> compelling it is to watch for a lot of people. But is it is it maybe a little too difficult? I don't know yet. It's only been one day, but I think definitely I I do understand why people are saying it. Um, it's it's poop bag, poop bag enemy. Okay, there goes my deal with the devil chance. But honestly, with the uh, difficulty of finding, like, spirit hearts and red hearts. Maybe it's not that bad to have, uh, a limited amount of, uh, deals with the devil, quite frankly. We- okay, that was one heck of a shot. I- uh, we may just die right here. Which would be fine, for the record. You know, we're, we're still in the learning process. I don't- I- I don't know what happened. I'm just gonna be honest, I don't really know what happened there. <laughs> I think that the way that that worked is, uh... Oh, there go both of my wisps, probably, yep. Um, the, the gas cloud also gets ignited by the bombs, but, uh, you know, it's, uh, we're, we're, we're still learning here. I, I really, I mean, I think there's a couple of things worth noting. One is, like, you know, should we go down to normal mode? I don't know, it depends, like, what do you want to see out of an episode, right? Like... What's the point of going down a normal mode? I don't want to go down a normal mode just to win. Hey, baby. Going down to normal mode to maybe learn boss patterns and then come back to hard mode, sure. But I almost feel like, you know, if you, and I'm sure this varies, like, depending on what axis you're talking about, but I feel like if you're training for driving on the Autobahn, you know, the best way to practice for driving on the Autobahn is by driving on the Autobahn. You, you don't go to bumper cars and hope that, uh, you know, you're going to pick up the skills necessary to translate when you're driving 200 kilometers an hour, you know, between Metz and Luxembourg. Which is actually in France, now that I think about it, but, um... You, you, you practice on the Autobahn, so I think what we do instead is we just continue playing on hard mode and we swallow our pride, we choke on the Rhine, and the lack thereof would leave me empty inside. To hop, hop, hop. He jumps in the water. Okay, so now we're talking. So now Book of Virtues is a three charge item. And we also get the value of the D12. So now, like, just going over it. Instead of having to wait four rooms to get a Wisp, now we wait three rooms. Which is a, a, a market improvement. But you can really see the value of, like, imagine if you could get a one charge item. And then also add, like, a, a 9 volt or something to the equation. Equation's such a funny word. Doesn't it sound like a word that's, like... It's like a, an alien weapon? Power up the equation! I'd be scared. That's, that's all I'm trying to say, is I'd be scared. Uh, I've been taking more pills in this game. Because they tend to be good. Uh, they, they really, like, they've really upped the pill game, I think, uh... Super stoked with the with the speed down and the uh, HP down so far. Very excited by by what this means for us. So I think we're not gonna get that key just yet. We should we should choose right. Like, are we going to go alt path? I think there's a good case to do it. I think there's a good case not to do it. Right. The good case to do it is actually like when you go to the alt path, your item rooms are better mathematically by definition. Because you have a choice of either the item you see or a random other item. It, it might seem minor, but being able to self-select bad items out of the uh, pool, it, it's it's going to have a tangible impact, at least over time. Um, and then also, being able to go inside of the mirror dimension gives you access to another one item um, from the boss. Which is not insignificant. I should have done this differently. I, I wanted to reroll a different room. I'm disrespecting the genuine value of the D12 in favor of the Book of Virtues right now, which is not wise. Likes to hop, pop, pop. I don't know if you can hear it. You might think I'm just losing my mind. Splish, splash. 
I don't know if you could hear that. <laughs> it's great though. She's getting very good at, at um, enjoying her own company, like learning to entertain herself. I know that might seem like, you know, something that a, a neglectful parent would say, but... Ooh, ooh, she's like, you got me. <laughs> no, baby, you can't joke about that. People will take it seriously. Like, whatever. It, all she can say right now is like, ooh, ooh, and a gooby. You got a front row seat to the Isaac episode. Music time. Oh, now we're talking music time. I get the picture. Anyway, I did choose to go to the alt path. I, I have a feeling that hubris is going to get the better of us for a while here. Um, and I, I accept that, you know? Here's the thing. If I'm watching Isaac, like, if, if, if I was watching somebody else play Isaac, there are cases, I think, where I think I would rather watch them just do the normal path. But they're, uh, I don't want to say few and far between. But it's like, if you're... Yo, this could give us, not a spirit heart, but more wisp charges if they gave us a spirit heart. Look at this. It only charges two-thirds? What a ripoff. Like, this is a great- Oh, but that charges every room, dude! Hold on! Reroll everything, get a wisp. Hold on, Bob is building an army? No, it's not- Oh, but you, we shoot it ourselves to generate wisps. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I've broken the game. I'm sure at some point you can hit maximum, like, wisp level. We might even be there. It seems like we're kind of there already. Why are they breaking? I guess they're, they're like, temporary. They, they don't last forever. That's the literal definition of the word temporary, I guess, but... Yo, this this might actually be kind of sick. But yeah, I, I would rather watch someone, you know, suffer on the difficult part of the game if it seemed like they had a realistic chance at some point to, like, get victory. Actually, I, I'm here to tell you I know what this does now. And they, anyway, the long and the short of that is that's my game plan for uh, why I'm doing the alt path as much as possible. It's basically like, I would rather watch other people do the alt path too. Maybe like struggle a little bit, learn, and, and grow over time. Um, so how does Isaac's... Oh, let's go. No! How does Isaac's Jar of Tears work? Every time you use it, it gives you a full sweep of orbitals. Which is actually amazing. The orbitals die in one hit, but it doesn't matter if they die in one hit if you can make six more super easily. Um... And then they also shoot for the duration of their time, you know, on this mortal coil. So, right now I don't want to use them as damage dealers, because, you know, as, like, a physical, like, contact damage dealers. Because I think that I would get too close to the enemy and get hit myself. But, but certainly, you could see a future where, you know, all we need to do, really, is press the button, run these fires into enemies, and then, you know, rinse and repeat. And then we could do an awful lot of damage. Like, this is this is kind of amazing, I think. Why am I going back here? Oh, because there's a full heart. It depends, you know, how risky you want to get it with the Demon Judgment here. I, I feel like uh, the Demon Judgments are... I mean, obviously, they're... It takes longer to get them to pay out now. I'll, I'll give you one more, I think. Um, that's about my degree of confidence here. And then I will try to go to a secret room. Remember, we can't get Spirit Hearts. It takes away uh, a little bit of our ability to... It just basically did nothing, as you can see. Uh, it takes away a little bit of our, our defensive ability. I really don't want to be too spicy on this run early on, because I, I feel like if we get some stats, this could actually be like a, a Bethany run with some some real chance of victory. I'm excited, man. Like, this is the first time with Bethany I actually feel like I've, I've got some degree of strength. <laughs> That's legitimately exactly what I was hoping for. I feel like here's here's the flowchart of where I'm at with hard mode. New enemies, new patterns, new muscle memory. Harder to not get hit. I'll take it. That's not bad, necessarily. Um, so you take more damage. Uh, by taking more damage, you lose more red hearts. When you lose more red hearts, um, you are less likely to take deals with the devil, because the red hearts are more precious for you. You take less deals with the devil, statistically, you tend to decline. You know, you tend to regress towards... Um, mediocrity, and then it takes you even longer to kill enemies, the enemies get harder, you get hit by more of them. Oh, she skipped Frog Song! Baby, you're gonna start making some enemies out here. So I think that the, the difficulty definitely, like, makes sense. And I think that over time, you know, as we learn, uh, as, as a community, 
you know, the, the patterns, we get the patterns committed to muscle memory and stuff like that, where it, it's not going to be... It's not going to require as much <laughs> uh, finesse for us to get to that level of, of winning. Like, you're not going to need Mom's Knife and Nine Lives and then also Dark Judas. I'm going to try the right item here. All right, I, uh, I regret nothing, apparently. Oh my god, Marked is different. That's interesting. I don't know. Maybe it's not interesting. Maybe it just looks different. Either way, I wonder if we can stretch our range all the way up. This this might be good, for all I know. I, I don't know, man. Like, it seems pretty positive right now. It also charges... Because we got a rate of fire up, it charges our, our orbitals so fast. Now, we got to keep in mind that when we use the Isaac's Jar of Tears plus Book of Virtues combo, we do remove all of the tiers we had up to that point but look at it dude it's really good on defense as well i think we've we've encountered a, a situation that has actually made this item worth something i never thought i would see it i certainly didn't think i'd see it on episode four <laughs> i do wish the one thing i'm gonna say I, I don't really mind losing a deal with the devil i think we got a good thing going here let's stack some hp if possible right um I, the one thing I'd like to see is, like, more powerful wisps, but I don't know if maybe we can get, like, the backpack and make that happen or something. I definitely still think... Th oh, yeah, you can't really double up. Uh, I definitely, by the way, still think there's a realistic chance we lose. I think it's pretty conceivable. Uh, we're, we're still statistically not in an awesome spot, but we do have a really cool active synergy. And I'm inclined to say that, that they did a really cool thing with this character now. First few runs, I mean, I played as Bethany for like, I don't know, maybe an hour and a half yesterday. I didn't get it. Like, I didn't understand what was happening at all. Part of that is because you're going through, you know, Twitch chat simultaneously, which can melt even the strongest brains on the planet. Um, but then, oh, help me, help me. <laughs> Another part of it is uh, that I, I just didn't get the kind of items you need in order to create a, a situation like that. So I do think that, uh, uh, or in order to, you know, fully understand how to use Book of Virtues, I guess. We want to buy a second bomb, if possible. It won't be possible because shops have been nerfed. Um, we could buy Poke Go if we get enough money. I, I just, for now, I just want to explore. If we can't go Alt Path, we can't go Alt Path. But I'd, I'd really like to go Alt Path if possible. Just to, you know, learn. Oh, and we should definitely do the mirror dimension. So my understanding as it, as it is right now is that on the mirror dimension, you are uh, the lost for real. Which means you have holy mantle. You could die. I'm a fool. You could die. All, you, all that has to happen for you to die is you get hit twice. So, you know, do I really want to fight, um, for example, uh, the boss again? No, I think it's pretty realistic I could get hit twice on that fight. Um, and in fact, now I'm like, well, we get the two key pieces. I think it's fun. We should, we should try. We might never get enough HP to actually do the second... Oh my god. Baby, you okay? She made a sound, I don't know, I thought that was like a... a uh, it was like a oceanic marsupial or something. I can't even do it. It's a sound like Jim Carrey would have made in The Cable Guy. That's amazing. Wait, wait, wait. I meant to go to the mirror dimension. Good, good use on the bombs so that you didn't accidentally use them on the mirror dimension. But the thing is, if we do the mirror dimension, I think we just want to get the key piece and bounce. Oh, hey. I don't think we want to go... Um, where's this fire, man? It was he here, right? Yeah, okay. So you walk into the white fire, turns you into a, into the lost, and then we come this way. We got a nice protection of orbitals, but it doesn't instant kill enemies, so we got to be a little concerned about it. But I think we just get the first half of the key piece from the puzzle, and then we move on, because like things could pretty easily go a little wrong here. We've, we've entered the Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind soundtrack arc. Now, the floor should be like an, an exact horizontal flip of the previous floor. 
I was just gonna say, so if my brain tells me what's going on here, we should be on our item room. Hold on. You, my, my holy mantle! Please. Please. Okay, we're, we're living. That might be important, actually. You doing okay, baby? She's rolling all over the place, man. Hey, you're happy? Oh, she's loving life. Pick this up. I was hoping... I mean, a bomb is useful, don't get me wrong. I was hoping that maybe we'd get uh, a little bit more. Wonder what happens. Maybe we should play this key bagger. I don't think it matters whether you play him in the minus realm. I'm willing to go down to one, man. I'm willing to go down to zero. Okay, he called my bluff, and more power to you. We got a lot of bombs out of it. See you later. Dude, it's, it's mighty tempting. I go. It's mighty tempting to uh, to go try to fight this boss because we do get an extra item out of it, but it it could ruin the whole run. <laughs> On the other hand, it could give us an item, and an item is real sick for allowing us to maybe accelerate a little faster. So shops in the minus realm don't do anything; they're just bad. I don't know, man. Like, I, I feel like we could really use some statistical improvements, particularly HP. It's a little high risk to be fighting the boss like this, though. Yeah, I look, you can call me a coward if you want, but what I really don't want to do is upload, like, an endless uh, fountain of, like, 20-minute-long uh, Isaac episodes. <laughs> I'd rather, uh, you know, take some calculated risks and, and perhaps acknowledge that... Uh-oh. Uh uh, perhaps acknowledge it's not always going to be possible to do everything the way that maybe we originally would have thought, you know, in, in Afterbirth Plus, if you don't take, uh, if you don't do the riskiest thing possible, you're just, like, being a coward. Maybe it's sensible to take some calculated risks in this game. I do imagine, and, and look, I, I have some, let's call them concerns about the difficulty of the game so far. Um... But I do think it, it's got to be a little frustrating to be Ed and the developers sometimes. And, like, you know, people play the game and do every hard challenge. And then, you know, always, even when their run sucks, they're like, we're going to do everything. Because that's just the kind of gamer I am. And then they're like, what the heck? It's too hard. And you're like, yeah, maybe, like, <laughs> maybe you got to pick and choose, man. But what do I know? Anyway, we're on the Ash Pit 1. With a run, I think, where we've made some very smart decisions. What does the Ash Pit 1 mean? I have no idea, quite frankly. Um, we're just we're just doing our best here. <laughs> we're just trying to... Stay one step ahead of the curve. We got some decent stuff going on. We got some enemies that scare the crap out of me, but... I actually feel like uh, our synergies are kind of nice right here. Book of Virtues doing great work. I mean, it's got to be worth the bomb for uh, Golden Key. If you can get a penny out of it, even better. Number one thing I've noticed with, with Repentance so far is, like, my desire to get DPS. I mean, it's still high, but my desire to get uh, HP is higher than it's ever been. Also, number two thing I've noticed, soundtrack goes a little hard, you know? Anthony Fantano's been real quiet since this soundtrack came out. That's all I'm trying to say. I'm going to be hit here. I've, I accepted it. And you know what? If you accept it, even better. I will say it's like a huge negative uh, as Bethany that you're not able to get spirit hearts. That's, that's like a, a serious problem. Is the juice worth the squeeze? I'm, I'm having a good time drinking the juice right now, but... Okay, I mean, this is a outrageously good room. We're just gonna use algae to walk back and forth here. Probably a good case to make to just pick one or the other, but, you know, algae lasts a long time. I'm gonna be very thankful for the bounty we've received here. That's very nice. I think it's our first damage upgrade. That's very nice, a speed upgrade and an HP upgrade, both of which are highly, highly uh, valuable for us right now. We should not have picked that up. 
takes it takes a big man to admit his mistakes, but we should not have picked that up. Uh, champion belt, on the other hand, I'm very happy to have picked up. And you can't blow these guys up anymore. They they get upset. They're the one who bombs. I'm willing to go down to one bomb for you. You got something good for me? I'm willing to go down to zero bombs for you. Okay, I do appreciate the HP. It's not really the right time for it, but I, I appreciate it. So we just basically doubled our damage. That's pretty good. That being said, uh, times are tough. <laughs> Let's blow up these mushrooms, man. I, I love these red bombs. As somebody who's, who's lived a high risk... Oh, that was so bad. As somebody who's lived a high risk life when it comes to bombs to begin with, I think that the... The, the red bombs appeal to me. No bones, please? What is this? Uh, that Fall Guys mode where uh, the snowballs come down? I don't even know what it's called. Angry Fly or something new? We 100% take something new. Unfortunately, we only get the active effect, or I guess you wouldn't call it an active effect, but we only get the, the you feel protected part of, of the cancer item because we can't do anything with the... Uh, with the spirit hearts. There will be some discourse, I promise you. There's gonna be some discourse out there that's like, you gotta take some of the bad items to learn if they do new things. I I don't disagree, but like, if you if the run is like, tight, you're creating a tough situation, right? You're putting me on a run where we, we very easily could just lose, and then be in like, hey, deliberately take some bad items in the hopes that they'll be good now. All right, so this is a wave-based boss. We have to be a little careful. I can't believe we were not hit. Um, I, I would just keep, you know, pumping these uh, orbitals out here, doing your best. Not a good place to stand. I'd say we got a little lucky there. We should wave, wave three of six, please. It, it never ends, man. Wave three of six, okay. Now we got flies that create fire when they die. That's correct. The good news is we don't have to ever hit the actual boss. The bad news is I can't hit the actual boss. Because <laughs> of the rocks in the way and I'm just frightened. Let's put, ah, okay, there goes our deal with the devil chance. But just living is worth something, man. Just living is worth something. Why am I trying to hit the actual boss? I literally just said you don't have to hit the actual boss. Just survive. Let the enemies come to you, man. You're, you're in a great spot here for, with respect to that. Mash the space bar at every opportunity. Old habits die hard, like, like John McClane. Come on, you gotta be toasted, man. Get wrecked, okay. You probably create fire when you die. You do not create fire when you die? Okay, well, get out of my face then. Very useful. Very useful item. No deal with the devil. Very understandable. The deal with the devil was not earned. <laughs> and I don't think... I mean, we, we could do the rest of this floor, which I am apparently doing right now. Um, but we don't have to. Like, I, if we want to complete the second part of this key puzzle, which I, I'm not sure if we've done it in a YouTube bespoke video yet, but we did it on Twitch. Um, we, we can do it, uh, I think on the next floor. I can't believe, like, we're kind of making the alt path work here. Hey, baby. Hello. Hello. You doing okay? Hi. Hello. She's like, yeah, yeah. I'm just enjoying being the first backseater. Oh, no. Okay. Sorry, just taking a little break. Uh, the thing, the Isaac episodes, like in in Repentance, are long to begin with, right? Like a little downtime. Who cares? <laughs> they're all they're all four hours long anyway. Let's play. Da -da 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 -da. You might hear this. Uh, are you a wizard? That's pretty bad. I'm just gonna wait this one out. I'm just gonna be straight up with you. We're waiting this out. Flappy butterfly. She flaps her big strong wings. We're just chilling. Apparently the amount of meme pills has been toned down a little bit, so like this doesn't bother me. 
we'll just chill. Just chill for a bit. Hopefully they didn't change it so like it's the number of rooms you could do. Alright, I've given up. Let's move on. <laughs> Look. Decided. You, are you seeing this? Like, just walking in there and then smashing the space bar is doing great work for us. It might not do great work forever, but like for the time being. The amount of damage we're doing with these orbitals is is pretty legitimate. I don't know, this might be the way to go. If only we had like some kind of like if we could get a trinket that generated um red hearts for us at, at a regular interval, like we'd be in a good spot. I know what you're thinking, like what about the relic? Yeah, the relic would be sick, except for the fact that uh we uh, couldn't get any spirit hearts. Um, we don't want spider butt. Jar of Tears is doing amazing stuff. I I'll give this a try for a second. Let's give it a, a little look. So what, what do we get? We get a unicorn fly. Or wisp, I should say. What does a unicorn wisp do? Nobody knows. We're, we're about to find out. Did I step on the button? <clears throat> ooh, ooh. I did step on the button. I'm trying to see, because, like, look, Jar of Tears was doing great stuff. Um, but, of course, if the Wisp is amazing, then we would maybe consider taking this. Um, but, no, I think that we've realized that as good as that Wisp is and as good as Invincibility was, Jar of Tears was, was better, I think, here. Just the ability to constantly have some weak orbitals around us is, is mighty strong. And we, we lost a lot of HP on the experiment, but I, I blame myself. La, ooh. You son of a gun. We, we are, we're going to be in a rough spot here. I actually, in my head, my, my body and brain went, that's Tech X. I don't know what happened. I walked into the room and I was like, it's Tech X. Oh, no, baby. You've been really good this episode, baby. Just just enjoying life, just chilling. We're going to have to kill you multiple times, for sure. You're coming back to life. The dry bones is coming back to life. Don't lose confidence in this one, though. Like, we're, we're actually... Oh, we don't have any keys. Come on, man. We're actually in a, a, a pretty nice spot. You know, things are dangerous right now. But I really think that we, we stand a great chance. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> I know there's HP back there. It's like it's it's so not in like an Isaac player's DNA to go back and use like one of your two bombs to get half a heart. But yeah, I think, you know, you're, you're going to do better in this when you put hubris to the side. I think that the faster you realize that, uh, you know, you're not in Kansas anymore, the the better off you're going to be. And we'll go back, we'll get that key, and we'll go to the, the shop as well. We have a 46% chance of a deal with the Angel, which is really interesting for me, because we've been hit. Maybe we just haven't gotten deals with the Devil in so long that they're like, ah, just give him one. <laughs> And you know what? Given that uh, we're not going to get any advantage here, I would certainly take a, a free item that maybe could provide us with some value. I definitely feel like at this point, one of the best items we could get would be any form of orbital. Um, because we're already going to have good orbital protection. Oh, that's, that's potentially good. A good orbital protection from uh, our fires... But being able to get... Just wondering what those things even did. Being able to get an orbital that uh, is persistent and does a lot of damage could, like, change everything, right? Okay, I don't know what you are, and I'm uh, scared. Okay, I'm sure when those... If, if you knock those, uh, those spiky balls into us, I'm sure we'll take damage. We took damage anyway. We still got an 11% chance. I need to get out of here. Um, of a deal with the angel, which is is really not that bad. I gotta stop skipping uh, boss cutscenes. By the way, that's like the hardest habit to break. And you hit me, you hit me on death too, huh? 
Well, the, the good news here, I suppose, is that we can't continue to go to the alt path, so we'll now slip back into normal Isaac. <laughs> if we walked into that room, we would be killed. So hopefully, having having taken the alt path for a little bit, hopefully we're, we're now, like, you know, going up against enemies we have a little bit more familiarity with. And now I can I can really appreciate the the damage that we're doing with these orbitals. I, I I hate the creep on this. That's very scary for me. Come on, man. But I'll tell you, you know, if, if you thought repentance hadn't changed much, how about uh, the idea that one of my most successful runs in in launch uh, window would be. Jar of Tears and Marked, you know? That's, uh... Never mind, I'm about to die. <laughs> uh, we really, really should have gone to the arcade. We also should obviously be creating as fires whenever we have none. Okay, now go to the arcade. You've been given a second chance at life. <laughs> Red hearts, please. Uh... Oh god, the fly could have killed us. Red hearts, there we go. Red, there we go. So you're saying there's a chance. Now now we can explore a little bit, I don't mind. I'm probably gonna get hit once here, usually... Right around there, saved. Long hallway seems like a, a, a beautiful room for us. This seems like easy mode now. I, I, I shouldn't even say it, because obviously it's gonna be... Uh, it's gonna get us in trouble. Good moves. Okay, now, dude, we got real plays now. I know we're like half an hour, we're actually, we're 36, 36 minutes in and we're on the mom floor. That's just new Isaac, man. Like, that's what it's like. Okay, so we're gonna play this all the way. I mean, we're only 27 minutes in on the seed, but like, in real time. I really want to get uh, the blood bag again. Ah, oh, dude, this is interesting. I don't know, like, I don't think our flies are, are bad, like, the trinket-wise. I think, I think our flies are actually pretty good, but I think we could do better. Like, I, I do wonder if maybe the left hand would be, you know, something we could use to kind of, like, cheat our way to some deals with the devil. I'm willing to check our curse room as well. I mean, we really don't care about spirit hearts, which is, like, a, a, a pretty big negative with respect to, uh... The left hand, which is mostly gonna generate uh, spirit arts, as uh, you know, vis a vis red chests, but I don't know if that's how you use vis a vis, but. Bursting sack, spider love, an item that even at the best of times I didn't really know what it did. Okay, so. Keep it moving here. I think we're gonna give it a try. I mean, the thing is, when the run's a little spicy, you'd rather keep it moving in a spice, or you'd rather throw new things at it. In order to try to, you know, mix up the apple cart. Because right now the apple cart is kind of headed for destruction. And I feel bad about it because I actually feel like, to be honest, we might have one of the more broken uh, synergies here. Oh, there's a tinted rock back there. We don't have bombs, but I see you. We don't have keys either. <laughs> we don't have bombs. Alright, well, we're about to fight Mom. Um, I, I really do feel like Jar of... Tears plus Book of Virtues it might actually be one of those, uh, one of those things that we look back on and go like, that's actually game breaking. Like that's an unbelievably good mechanic there. Hello, hello. I'm very impressed with this baby. She has been so polite and she's babbling, which is a good thing. When an adult does it, you go, hey, come on, it's a little embarrassing that you're babbling right now. Let me talk. It's my turn to talk. When a baby does it, it's, you know, it's it's just a, one of society's many double standards that when a baby poops their pants, it's like, oh, no worries. Let me clean that up for you. When I poop my pants, it's like, ooh, don't sit next to me on the train. Really makes you think, man. Really makes you think. One of you has a tractor beam, and I do not like it. I think it's you. Hate that. I think these guys only kind of move you around, though, right? Like, or do they actually bump you? I don't know. I might be thinking of Fiend Folio. 
<laughs> now, very important for me to remember, don't walk into the foot, except maybe like when you use your fires, it's okay. Baby. Baby, when I'm with you, I'm smiling. You know that? I don't know. I don't know the rest of it, honestly. Bomb? No bomb? Okay. Well, I mean, like a battery doesn't do... I don't know. No, it doesn't do anything for us now that I think about it. But I, I bought it nonetheless. I was hoping to get a bomb to blow up the tinted rock, but you know, you can't always get what you want. I guess we, we do appear to be charging... I don't want to say faster, but like we always have more charges than I would have expected. Like, I think we can we can just mash with the best of them now. Aye, aye. I, I'm sorry, baby. I'm just in temporary radio silence, and then we can we we can figure out what ails you here. I have a feeling it rhymes with scoop in the schmiper. Okay, so this is uh, blah blah. That's a new one. I have uh, th this is the longest mom fight you're ever gonna experience. I think I've learned my lesson. I think we stand down here, constantly generate new orbitals, <laughs> and just wait for the bottom to, to activate here. Just wait for that bottom door to open. Doesn't matter what door you pick. And just keep, oh yeah, aim at the top door. And just keep spawning fires for the bottom here. I can't believe how well that worked at the end. Well, we'll take permanent Polaroid Invincibility, and we will head down to the next floor. Hey, honey. I mean, the, the rest of this, you wouldn't expect it to be that, that bad. Because we do have, um... I mean, it's just normal floors, right? That was scary. That being said, the run is a little goofy. I I got I'm optimistic though that we got a pretty good chance here. Now now that we don't have to worry about alt floors, like I'm Although we do have new enemies in the cathedral and stuff like that. I don't know. It'll it'll be a, a touch spicy, but I'm really getting used to the idea as well that these runs you just got to embrace the fact they're going to be long. Dying is not uh, you know, it's like George Washington said in, uh, you know, the 2015 musical Hamilton. Dying is easy, young man. Living is harder. That's what we're doing right now. It's like winning a run is is more of a marathon than it's ever been before. But I appreciate it. I shouldn't be standing there. We, we guaranteed ourselves we shouldn't be standing there. That's very nice, though. Emperor, hanged man. I, I appreciate the HP. You know what this feels like right now? And you're gonna laugh. And you're gonna be also like, maybe, what's that? Well, this is terrifying. Um, this feels like Flash Isaac. We're, we're just relying on red hearts and, and hoping for the best. You got me, you son of a gun. He boomed me, straight up. Pay him! Pay that man his money. Double Gertie. You know what? A an amazing room to be able to abuse the power of flight. A long run is always scary for an individual such as myself because patience is not a virtue that I have uh, cultivated. I tend to be uh, impatient and then make up for it, hopefully, with, you know, feats of, of, of acumen. But that is not something that I can guarantee in this case, nor am I really a superior gamer. But keep it moving, okay? Did we go up here? I have a very simple pathfinding algorithm. Pick a door and run with it. I can't, you know, it, it, they won't write about it in the New England Journal of Medicine. But I think that it, it works for me, and that's good enough. This is by far the best Bethany run I've ever had, though. <laughs> I'm a happy, happy hippo, by the way. Let's play. Da 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 da. Jump on the piano, play a sweet song. Here's some beautiful music. You'll want to sing along. 
Ooh, 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 ooh. Now we're talking. Play the frog song. Play the frog song now. I want to sing the frog song. I mean, are you witnessing the politeness of this baby? It's crazy. It's been 45 minutes. And she's just uh, hanging out enjoying life. That's what it's all about, man. A baby that appreciates the leisure that comes with being a baby. This could be worth it. That's exactly what I wanted to see, but we need you to be like the greatest judgment of all time. I just said I need you to be the greatest judgment of all time. New pill? Not a new pill. F? F? I'm out of here? Uh, okay, don't die. A bomb to get a red heart is fine. I also, dude, they cranked up the curse frequency so much on these, uh, on these new floors. I feel like there is never a floor where I know where I'm going at all. I'm just, I'm constantly beset by, like, just, I don't know what, what word I'm even looking for here. I just, I never know where I'm going. The, the whole map is just question marks, you know, from now until the end of time. Been a long time as well since I think we had a run where we were never gonna get a deal with the devil or deal with the angel, but we're kind of okay with it. Oh, here we go again. Da 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 da. -da. Jump on the piano, play a sweet song. Here's a beautiful music you'll want to sing along. You're welcome for the lullaby, by the way. Like I know many people, as we approach 50 minutes into this episode, they'll be. Drifting off to dreamland um, More power to you. I wish you the best. Uh, we gotta try man. We gotta try Frog likes to hop pop pop. He jumps in the water Come on man splish splash come on man is not part of the lyrics by the way, but I Was hoping we get like a cool synergy there. I don't know it seems like maybe by charging our shot like we're Damage output might be a touch higher, but as we approach 50 minutes here, you know, I hope you enjoy your sleep. I'll be here grinding away. Uh, if you wake up in the in the middle of the night, this run may still be ongoing. And you know what? That that might be a big positive for us to, to still have it moving at that point, because it means we ain't dead yet. You're going to explode? You're going to explode? No. Ooh. ooh. Okay. Great stuff. Great stuff. We need that half red heart. I wish, you know, you, you never want to hear that on Utero 1, but I, I think it's the honest to goodness truth. We might, we don't have to, but we might as well kill that enemy. I, I, who knows? We might have to on the way back. Um, so we might as well do it now. This is the longest Utero 1 floor I've ever experienced in, in my life. I am begging for the sweet release of the boss fight. And, you know, if, if we can somehow... Maybe we, by virtue of this High Priestess card, get the 46% Angel Chance and then get a useful item. I would I would be thrilled, man. Okay, Conquest. Oh, no. Baby. Baby. You're okay, honey. No, no. After, after all that we've been through. He's one hit away from death. Okay, we got our deal with the Angel. Now, White Pony, I, it is a two-room charge now. Oh, my God, dude. What, what do we get? Holy poop or glyph of balance, man. I don't know what either of the items do. Well, actually, that's not true. So here's the thing. This does allow us, once every two rooms, we'll be able to use this. And it, it is pretty good. I'll give you a demonstration. And then, I don't know, what does the Wisp do? It shoots, but irregularly. I hate to say it, man, because, like, it, it does look cool. You're going to think that I've lost it. I think that Isaac's Jar of Tears may still be better. Hey, honey, hello. This this is the, the Isaac she told you not to worry about. Like, we're on hour 3,500. Baby... Of the default path. But I, I have hopes. And now that we have the map, or at least the map is available to us, I have hopes that we can do it. I've got hopes that we can get there. 
Do 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 do. Okay, we're good. If you're new to the series, maybe, or you you've lapsed for a while, when we've got an egg and baby in the morning episode, so routinely we have to pause for a little bit to do some, you know, baby uh, comforting. Babies, you know, if if you're unaware, they they do fuss on occasion. They need, you know, active uh, active comforting. I should not have taken damage there. That's that's an embarrassment. So we'll throw it. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We'll throw in a little pause as soon as we beat this envy room, and and we'll be. I I'm on my way, sweetheart. I promise. And and we'll be back uh, momentarily, thanks to the pause feature in OBS. All right. See you in just a moment. All right. We are back, uh, presumably with a with a happy baby. And a happy uh, a happy daddy, and ready to, to hopefully. You know, sometimes. I gotta think that an extra, you know, five minutes off in the middle of an episode might be what I need to refresh and, you know, get a little bit away from the screen and remind myself what I'm trying to do. Like, for example, I immediately remembered, oh no, <laughs> that, um, no, no, not to peep, not to peep. I've killed many bosses greater than you. Um... What I was gonna say is, I, I remembered, like, all those shots that I thought should have hit me and I didn't get hit by, I realized something. I didn't get hit by them because they're the shots that are generated by euthanasia, I think. <laughs> so, of course I didn't get hit by it, uh... You know, they're, they're on my side. Hey, Einstein, I'm on your side. Flappy butterfly... Oh, she's, she's cruising through the songs, man. Okay, so, how are we gonna get out of this one? One, one bite at a time. The only way you're gonna get through this is, is one room at a time. Solid play. Stacking consumables. Using said consumables to get you a little further ahead in the, in the value chain. And then who knows what, what, what dreams may come. I, I could have been hit there. That would have been devastating. Because we're basically, I mean, we're on the womb, right? We're two hits away from death. There is a half heart back there. I'm I'm deluding myself into thinking that we're not going to need to go back and get it, uh, even though I know that we probably will slash definitely will. What do you think about a secret room? Kind of looks secret roomy to me. Hey, baby. Hello, my baby. She's like that didn't work. <laughs> I've what the heck man usually like in 10 minutes you're done your eyes are grown now it's been 50 minutes what's going on I know baby they released a new DLC it's really hard <laughs> it's tough it's a tough one okay so that's gonna be mom's heart pop it down pop it down let's go saved saved from the backtracking Sorry, I hate when they sing. Dude, we got some serious damage output. Also some serious orbital protection. She's like, I don't care. Get mom's knife. I'm working on her, okay? We got a 4.3% chance of a deal with the devil. Um, 4.3% chance confirmed. This is this is a little tight. I really don't think we can take little brim. Because we're going to be moving our charges around with marked and stuff like that. And we need as much HP as possible. But very happy to have gotten the dark matter. Oh, baby. Your leg, she was almost fully rolled over. She's just flexing now. Ow. Okay. All right. Where, where are we at on this run? 43 minutes of game time. Easy, man. Easy. I do like the new HUD that they added. Like, that's, that's a big win for sure. I'm a happy, happy hippo. Let's play. I'm not going to sing the song again. We've, we've been down that road. You can hear it in the background if you're interested. <laughs> You know what playing as Bethany really illuminates for you is how much uh, you lean on spirit hearts to, to survive in this game. It's a Maybe it's a crutch, but it's a crutch that had been working out for me prior to this point. Honey. 
We're we're almost done, baby. I know you're like, Daddy, I didn't expect you to survive this long in the game. Me neither, sweetheart. Me neither. Uh, I, I would absolutely go to town on, on that uh, fruitcake over there. If we could get a little bit of that, I'm a little peckish. All we need is a hanged man card. Of course, we, we should have just held on to our hanged man card from 27 years ago, and then we could have made it. You know what? I just got a good feeling about this. Uh, you know, can't always get what you want. How much do you want to bet that that card is the hanged man, by the way? Oh, no, no, no. No, baby, baby. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Mmm, baby. Oh, did you see how fast we charged that, man? I can't believe we're probably gonna win. <laughs> it's not even a train wreck, it's just sort of, it's, it's just a strange one, you know? Okay, I think that we have a baby that wants to be in the bouncer. That's my guess on the subject. I don't know it to be true, but I'm making a guess. By the way, if you're new, or again, if you've lapsed on the Isaac series, there's a few episodes like this that, that happen. You might be like, oh, this is crazy. Like, the baby's making a lot of noise. One sec, we're going to put her in her bouncer chair. We're going to put you in the bouncy chair, baby. Hey. Yo. This is actually, like, a pretty low-key uh, baby episode. Yeah. This is just, like, it's take your daughter to work day. Right, honey? No, no more music time. <laughs> I do I do not give you my permission to make more music time. That's me talking to the piano, not to the baby. Okay. Okay. Okay, baby. She's skeptical, but we might be able to sneak in a couple of rooms before she realizes that fundamentally nothing has changed here. Okay, new enemy. Putt-based enemy as well. You're scaring me. You're scaring me a little. I'm trying to think, like, how do we live on the chest? I honestly think if we just got, like, little Chad in the wafer, we could win the most, like, boring, mathematical Isaac run of all time. <laughs> all we need is, is two hyper-specific items. And if that comes to pass, then, you know, we, we can't be defeated, like the GO team. Baby... I respect your cries, honestly. Like, I can understand. I'm having a good time. There's some novelty here, but this is the kind of run... You can imagine if Repentance had been out for, like, ten months. This is the kind of run that would send you into the stratosphere. <laughs> You're like, not a single deal with the devil! Except for that last one. But, you know, anytime you complain, you like to leave out the things that kind of support your case. Okay, number one thing. Very valuable. Drop the left hand. That, that could have been catastrophic. That's very valuable. Oh my god, a tears upgrade. Oh my god, a bombs are key. That's actually like terrible right now, but we can uh, swap them back. Because we got keys, uh, now we got keys for the chest. Okay. Okay, small rock, incredibly nice. Damage output is actually fairly strong now. The tears are uh, shots per second now, so we're doing uh, about four, four and a quarter shots per second. That seems like that's nothing to sneeze at, baby. And I don't know, it, that it might actually be, like, a low representation. Like, it might be higher because of uh, uh, the cursed eye. So I'm trying a new strat, which is just rely on your... <laughs> rely on your fires to block literally every single incoming shot. And then just shoot as much as you can. And, you know, it, you should be nearly impossible to hit. It seems to kind of be working. Get me out of there. Baby, I don't believe it. I, I think we've constructed a, a, a win in, in Isaac as Bethany. Like, and I, I owe it all to the Jar of Tears. That is not where you stand, by the way. That is not the standing location. And I'm, I'm also going to level with you. I think we made some decisions that... You know, you might look at it and be like, they were a little silly given the mechanics of the items, but given that this item was added into the game yesterday, I'm, I'm willing to cut myself a little slack over that. <laughs> I'm willing to say, self, 
you probably could have puzzled things through a little bit better, but I, I feel like we did a pretty good job of getting it under control. I feel like we didn't, we didn't do so badly there. But the run is not over. Let's not get overly cocky. Some of these rooms could be mighty bad. I, w I would freaking... I would get a forehead tattoo for an Emperor card right now. We must be... A, if we beat the chest, we're going to unlock something new, I think, as well. Okay, so here's the thing. I'm in no position to not take some synergies. Like, let's let's see how things go here. I, Hemolacria certainly has the potential to either ruin our life or make it incredible. And uh, honestly, it seems pretty good. That first charge took a long time. But from that point onwards, like... It actually seems pretty solid. Like, the damage output seems seems pretty legit. We should be using these as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. It is hard to aim. <laughs> I'm gonna, get, gonna be honest, it's a little tricky to aim. Luck up. This is a great time for it. Range up. I don't think it's hyper relevant, but that's okay. Baby... Baby, you should be happy. We're seeing a cool new synergy. She's like, I don't even know what that word is. Oh, <laughs> you will. You will. Okay, double Monstro 2. Every room now, we're just playing defense, you know? As long as we can make it... Oh, that hurts. As long as we can make it to the boss, we're in a pretty good spot. Can I just remind myself yet again? Literally, like, almost the only thing you have to do is press the space bar every three seconds. If you hold down a direction button and press the space bar every three seconds, we're headed to the freaking moon. Just keep mashing. You, you gotta keep shooting to be able to keep mashing. Admittedly, it does take longer to charge uh, Isaac's Jar of Tears now. Look at that, though. I mean, come on. That was like a one-hit... Uh, KO. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's a tough one to say no to. If we need more HP, then absolutely I would not feel weird about taking lard. Uh, at, as of the present time, I'm gonna say no to it just because we don't need the HP and we'll, we'll probably fall down to like 0 0.6 speed. It shouldn't be that relevant because, uh, you know, we, we have the orbitals, but... You, you want to make sure you're not throwing the runaway on, like, some statistical idiocy. Uh, trust me, take, take it from the one who's, who's done that maybe more than anybody else on uh, this platform. Alright, that's, that's good. It's a red heart. We're actually going to win. I'm, I'm kind of flabbergasted, and, and dare I even say, like, a little impressed with myself. And we, what a DLC that we had an hour-long run, and it's not even really a train wreck. Now, it's not technically over yet, but, I mean, it's it's over. For all intents and purposes, throw this one into the paper shredder. Look at that. We've unlocked Blessed Penny. I have no idea what it is, but we've done it. And look at that. Do we got a, a one streak now? He's done it. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. If you did, for the love of God, please click the like button. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. I'm playing a bunch on Twitch. Watch the Twitch VODs in the Streaming Advising playlist on YouTube.com slash Northern Lion's front page. Or follow me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Northern Lion to be notified of when I go live. It's every day but Saturday and we're playing a ton of Isaac. For now, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. See ya!